everybody, this is Jada and I'm here with a full body, body weight HIIT workout for you. It's gonna be about 30 minutes long and we're just gonna go for it. You know, power through this one. Go ahead, get your water, get your towel and a good attitude because that's definitely what you're gonna need today and let's go ahead and start our warm up. All right, shoulder rolls back. Go ahead and take a couple deep breaths while you're doing these shoulder rolls. Nice job, and bring them forward. I really want you to get that mind right and just set your intention right now. What are you working for this morning? Decide what level you're gonna work. Are you gonna give your best? Yes, you are. All right, let's go ahead and do rotations. Extend that arm. We're reaching side to side. Pivoting on the back heel, or pivot out on the back toe. As you move from side to side, make sure you're feeling that twist through that torso. Four more. Three, two, one, awesome, let's go into some squats, some body weight squats. You can have your feet pretty wide. I'm gonna go about shoulder width apart, drop my butt back and down. I'm not going too deep right now because it's just still a warm up. Just wanna get my body ready to move. Couple more. We're gonna add a little bit to this squat. We're gonna add a knee up with a twist. So squat, knee up, twist. Squat, knee up, twist. Great job. Let's do about three or four more just like this. And last one. Awesome, let's take a big step out. I'm bending my right knee and opening up over my right leg. Couple more. Last one. Do some lateral lunges side to side. Reaching my opposite hand for the opposite toe. Butt is back. Weight is in my heel, so yours should be too. Now stay on the left side. I'm gonna stay on my left and then do my rotations over my left side. Readjust really quick, there we go. One more. Awesome, all right, so going back to some body weight squats, I'm gonna go really wide this time. Toes out, tuck your butt under, and then drop straight down. One, two, three, let's get a couple more. Six, seven, and last one. All right, shake it out. So let me tell you about this first segment. We're going five minutes straight, we got five moves doing those five moves back to back. Take a rest as you need it. And our first move, lateral steps with two tap backs. Ready? One minute, here we go. One, two, tap back. So you stay low in the lateral squats and then tap it back right here. One, two, tap back. Awesome job. You should start to feel that burn in those quads and in that glute, or in those glutes. This whole segment, this first five minutes, is all about upper bo or lower body. So we're working those legs. <sighs> nice job, we're about halfway there. Remember, there's no built-in breaks within those, these five minute chunks. So if you need to take a break, go ahead and do it on your own. We got 12 more seconds. Sorry. 
Last five, come on, you got it. Three, two, and one. Next move, hop forward, back, and sumo jump squat. So forward, back, jump squat. Forward, back, jump squat. If you're not jumping today, then you can march forward and back, and then out, drop into the squat, run it in. So it looks like this. If you're not jumping, if you are jumping, forward, back, jump squat. Oh, the water's getting really close. We're gonna keep going. Forward, back. Modification if you need it again. So any fitness level can do this. Last 10 seconds, guys. Last five, four, three, two, one. Next move, double lunge, knee up. So we're gonna hit one, up, two, knee up, switch. Down, up, down, knee up. Down, up, down, knee up. Down, up, down, knee up. So two lunges, one, and then two, knee up. One, two, knee up, good. One, don't forget to alternate. Dropping those knees down, the back knee down, almost all the way to the floor. Good. Feeling that burn through the quad, in the glute. Tucking that butt under. When you bring that knee up, so my left knee comes up, my right butt cheek tucks under. Almost done. All right, moving on to the next one. Curtsy lunge, center squat. Cross back, get that curtsy lunge. Squat in the center, cross back other side. Awesome. So I want you to see how low you can get on that curtsy lunge. See if you can get a 90 degree bend in that front knee and get that back knee almost touching the floor. Great. We got 30 more seconds here. You guys got this, I know you do. Make sure you're pushing that weight back into your heels as you squat down in the center. Make sure you're keeping your back as straight as possible in that curtsy lunge. We got five seconds and three, two, one. Next move, touchdown lunges. So your feet start pretty close together. Drop down into a squat, touch back, come in, stand. There we go, touch back, come in. So these are called touchdown lunges. We're alternating that leg. I love these, I always feel these in my glutes. Get that nice burn, because we're gonna stay low as we tap back. Stay low, tap back. Come and stand up, squeeze that booty. Awesome, you guys, 25 more seconds here. And then we're moving on from our lower body. Go ahead, burn those muscles out. Should be starting to sweat just a little bit. Maybe a lot, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you guys, okay, we got a minute rest right here until we go into our upper body segment. So, upper body and core. We have five different moves. We're gonna do them for a minute each, just like we did in the last segment. No rest until those five moves are done. Get your water, towel off if you need it right now, and then we'll start in about 35 seconds or so. While you are getting your towel and water, I'm gonna show you the first move. So we're going down to the floor, and it's a push up to a down dog. You can go ahead, take this push up on your knees or on your toes, push up, and then hips go up to the air, down dog. Back to the push up, and down dog. That's your first move. 
We got about seven seconds to so go ahead and take your place on your mat or on your floor. In three, two, one. Here we go. First move, push up down dog. Keep that back flat like a table. Tuck that pelvis under right there. Remember, if you need to, bring your knees down to the floor for the push up. Just like that. Key thing, if you're using that modification, make sure your butt drops along with everything else. One common mistake is leaving your butt up in the air and going this way instead of dropping everything at once. We got 14 seconds left. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Move number two, tricep dip with a crab kick. So I'm gonna sit my butt down right in the center Fingers will go back, do, actually I'll turn my hands this way, that should be easier. I'll do one tricep dip, then crab kick. Alternate the foot, nice job. Tricep dip, bend those elbows. So bend, extend, kick. If you wanna add a little bit, reach up for that opposite toe on the crab kick. And that engages your core just a little bit more. We got 20 seconds left, guys. We got this. Bend those elbows. Almost there. Last three, two, one. Awesome. Next move is our plank to beast. So I'm gonna get in a plank position, fully extended plank, and then walk my knees till they're underneath my hips and then extend back. There we go. Plank to beast. Now, if this is too much for you, you can either take it down to a half plank and just hold it right there, or take it to a full plank and hold. If you can do that beast, go ahead and add it in. You guys got this, you got 20 more seconds left. Feeling it in my shoulders, through my core, keeping my pelvis tucked under. Last eight. Come on, three, two, and one. All right, next move, we're standing up. Hands come together at the very top. You're gonna bring it around, feel that core work, and then come up with the knee and bend into it. So around, bend around so you're really getting that crunch as you bring that knee up alternating the sides there you go stay in control of those arms place them where they need to go Get that knee up nice and high. Feel that crunch on the side. Working those obliques. Last seven seconds. There we go. Three, two, one. Ah, get that last one. All right, next move. Forward lunge with rotation. So we keep our hands up. Forward lunge, rotate over, and then switch, to, switch jump to get to the other side. If you're not jumping, looks like this. Twist rotation, walk through it, get to the other side, rotate. Walk through it, get to the other side, rotate. So you can jump. Make sure you're feeling that twist. It's not just a quick movement. Really pull yourself to the side and then back to center. 15 seconds. Almost 
there. Last five, four, three, two, one. You guys made it through the upper body core five minutes. We're in one minute of rest, and then we're going into footwork and kicks. I think this is my favorite segment that's coming up next. Get some water, get your towel, and I'll show you the moves that are coming up. So first one, get this sand off of here. First one is front kick, back kick. I'm going front with my right leg, back with my left leg. Boom, boom. Arms are up in guard, and I'm gonna look in the direction that I'm kicking. We're gonna start there, we got 20 seconds. I'm feeling good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling really good. It's a beautiful day out here. Got the water almost up on my board. <laughs> I'm hearing the crash of the waves. All right, guys, here we go. Kicking front and back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Kick front, back. I'll show you this from the side as well. And remember, your kicks don't have to be super high. They just need to be super hard. So you can kick down here and kick right there, or you can kick nice and high. You choose what you wanna do. My right foot's forward right now. My left foot's back. My arms are up protecting my face. I'm not gonna drop my guard. There we go. 25 seconds. Come on, give me a little bit more power with those kicks. Ah, pretend like you're kicking that door down and you're making contact uh, with the heel. There's the water. <laughs> Come on, 10 seconds. Ha, ha. Three, two, one. Awesome. Next move, three step. One, two, three. Knee up. One, two, three. Remember, no breaks in the five minutes. We're just going from move to move. I know you can do this though. You might feel a little bit out of breath. That's okay. Take a moment, maybe you slow down your movement, but don't stop because you got this. Maybe you need a break. Grab your sip of water, come back. But come on, you can finish, I know you can. 19 seconds, guys. Get that knee up. Last nine, eight, last four, three, two, one. All right, side kick, tap down. Start with my right side, tap down with my left hand. Boom. We got 30 seconds on the right side. And then we'll go 30 seconds on the left. Try to touch that floor. Five more seconds on this side. Three, two, one. Other side, go kick and bring it down. There we go. Thirteen seconds. Kick that side door down. Come on, kick it. Last three, two, one. All right, front crossover run. So we go one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Really put that weight in that front foot. Boom, boom. You got it. 29 seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Using those feet. Moving them quickly, but still controlled. You want to actually be able to tell the move that you're doing. Good. 
We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Next, front kick, back kick. My left foot's forward this time, my right foot's back. Give you a little bit of side action right here, front, back. Woo! <laughs> Don't lose your balance. Kicking that front door down, kicking that back door down. Squeezing my booty on that back kick, making sure my abs are engaged on the front kick. Staying upright uh, as I kick to the front. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. We got one minute rest. You guys, you have one more segment. Five minutes that we go through. And then once that's done, we'll rest one more time. And then we're going into a plyometric challenge. That's only three minutes. So you have about 10 more minutes left total. You can do this. You have come this far. You got this workout. I know you do. All right. So our first move in our next segment while you're resting, it's a switch. So we're going to start. I'm starting facing my right. And I'm gonna go jab, cross, upper. Oh, I'm sorry, check that again. Jab, cross, upper, switch. Jab, cross, upper, switch. So that's our first move. We start in 10 seconds. Face one side. Ready? Here we go, three punches. Three, two, one. Jab, cross, upper, switch. Jab, cross, upper, switch. Jab, cross, upper, switch. Jab, cross, upper. Now, if that jump is a little bit too much for you, walk it through. Good, jab, cross, upper. Jab, cross, upper. Jab, cross, upper. Jab, cross, upper. Good, jab, cross, upper. Get those punches. Pretend like you're making contact. Last three, two, one. All right, this one get nice and wide. Horse stance, so keep it low and then punch four times. One, two, three, four, jump squat. One, two, three, four, jump squat. If you're not jumping, go onto your toes. Then back down. One, two, three, four. Toes back down. I know you guys got this. Come on, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four. Seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Awesome. Next move jack and jab. So we got one jack, turn and jab. If you're not jumping, looks like this. You just don't turn to the side. If you are jumping, sweating right now. I know you guys are too. Because I know you're giving 100% to shit today. You didn't turn on this video just to sit there. I know you're up. You're moving. You're feeling good just like I am. We got 14 seconds guys.
Last five. Three, two, one. All right, next part, high-low punches. Right arm goes up, left arm goes down. Got a little jump lunge in between. We're gonna do half on the right side, half on the left. So right arm up, left arm down. Right arm up, left arm down. In three, two, one, switch. Left arm up, right arm down. Keep that little jump lunge in the middle or if it's too much, just walk it through. Twelve seconds. Three, two, one. All right, last move. Lateral hop, twist, center. Lateral hop, twist, center. Good. Hop, turn, center. Hop, turn, center. Hop, turn, center. Now, if you're not jumping, I just want you to come down and just go in, in, out, out with your feet. That's what your move is. In, in, out, out. If you are jumping, hop, turn, center. Hop, turn, center. Nice job. 14 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you guys made it through that five minutes. You got a minute rest. And then we're going into our challenge. I hope you're ready. All we have are three moves. Three minutes. We're gonna push ourselves as hard as we can. First move is a burpee with four climbers. So how that's gonna look, hands go down to the floor, feet jump back, knees come in. One, two, three, four, jump up. I'll show you the modification if you're not jumping. Second move, four scissors, two jacks. One, two, three, four, one, two. Third move, side shuffle, touch the ground. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Those are our three. We're starting with that burpee. We got 10 more seconds. I'm gonna face the side so you can see me. In five, whew, I got so much sweat. Three, two, one, let's go. Burpee, one, two, three, four. Now, if you need to, walk it back. Do the climber slow. Walk it in, stand up to your toes. That's your modification. Come on, you got this. We got 20 seconds. Modification, two, three, four. Walk it in, up to your toes, walk it back. So you choose. Come on, last three, two, one. All right, move two, four scissors, two jacks. One, two, three, four, one, two. Whew. I am sweating buckets right now, but it's all for you. So I don't mind. So I'm getting my workout in too. Four scissors, two jacks. Four scissors, two jacks. Come on. This might be where you feel like you can't go anymore, but you can. It's all about breaking boundaries. Exceeding those limits. You can push. You can push a little bit. 
and give your best. Come on, last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Move three, side shuffle once, touch down. Just dropping down toward the ground. If you can touch, awesome. If you just need to reach, do it. And then this is your modification. If you're not jumping, you're just walking through it. Come on, you guys, 37 seconds left of work before a cool down. Yes, come on, let's do it. 20 seconds. What you got left? Come on, you got it in you. I just need you to dig deep and pull it out. Tell your mind yes. Let your body follow. Come on, last five seconds. Four, three, two. You did it. Whew, go get some water. Grab your towel. I'm just gonna start marching it out. My heart rate is pretty high. Yours should be too. So we're gonna take a couple minutes to bring that heart rate down. Just start marching it out, or you can do a two step like me. Take a deep breath right here. Exhale. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. Keep those arms high. Nice job. Exhale. Great. Let's go into shoulder rolls. You're gonna have a little bit of a side knee bend, so I'm going a little bit wider with each time I roll my shoulders back. Now I'm gonna take it single and roll that shoulder. Same knee that I'm bending into is a shoulder that rolls. There we go. Give me four, three, two, one, awesome. Now I'm gonna sink into this side. So letting that knee bend nice and deep, dropping my hip toward the floor, feeling the stretch in my inner thigh. Hold it there. Three, two, one. I'm gonna turn all the way to the side. You can leave your back knee down if you need the extra support, or you can straighten that leg and press your hip toward the floor. Awesome job, you guys. From here, straighten both legs. I'm gonna stand up, reset, so I feel like I'm a little off balance. Push my hips back, bring my chest down towards my knee, and then I'm gonna put one hand on my thigh above my knee, one hand on my shin below my knee, and just feel the stretch all the way up the back of the front leg. Drop in a little lower. Awesome, bend your knees, open up to the center, sink down low, wiggle back and forth just a little bit. Get into those hips, drop your butt as low as you can. You did it. You should be super proud of yourself. You stuck with it till the end, you gave it 100%. That's amazing. I'm gonna straighten my right leg, get into that nice deep side bend. I'm sorry, lateral lunge. <laughs> you can tell I worked hard. My brain doesn't want to work right now. Whew. Hold it right there. Feel it in that inner thigh. Now let's twist to a full lunge. Remember I said you could drop your back knee or you can straighten that back leg. It's completely up to you, whatever feels the best to your body. Nice job, you guys. Straighten that front leg now. So I didn't have to do the full adjustment, but if you need to, that's fine, which is standing up, pushing your hips back, letting your chest lead down over that front leg, trying to keep your chest open instead of rounding those shoulders. Bend the knees, open up the center, hands on your thighs. Let's roll our backs up, so round them. Awesome, and then arch it all the way down. 
Good. One more time. Round it up. Stretch the shoulder. Other side. Oh, I got sweat in my eyeball. <laughs> this is all for you. All for you. <laughs> Stretch the tricep. So excited for you guys. Thank you so much for working out with me today. You know, we all have goals that we're working towards and this was a step towards your goal and you did it. So you should celebrate that. Don't focus on the stuff that you struggled with. Focus on everything that you accomplished and then let's try to do a little bit more next time. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today. I'll see you once again on Jimra. Thanks so much. Hey guys, thanks so much for working out with us today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you can see all the new workouts when they come out.